Hello! I have a doll who you saw in my last video who is the grubbiest ever. Um, I have a magic eraser. I'm gonna just go for it. Um, I'm gonna time slap, time lap this maybe. Uh, we'll see. I'm just gonna go for it. And hope all this gunk comes off. Oh, so far so good. For my next step, I'm going to undo her neck strings uh, and take out all her stuffing, ready to tighten her limbs. Took a little while, but we got there, and ta-da! Her head is off. I'm gonna pop this to the side because I'm gonna work on her hair. I do have a doll wig that I could use, but I like I don't mind it short, she reminds me a lot of Lindsay with this short hair. So I'm gonna try and salvage it because it would be a really cute little short cut. It would be almost like the Nelly wig but in brunette and I love the Nelly wig. I have one in my collection on Alice, my custom doll based on a book and she's so cute and I love that wig so nice to have it in a brunette too. Ta -da. She's all fluffy. While I'm here, I'm just gonna brush coconut because that's how I've restored faux fur things in the past. Especially once you wash a plushie, it's great to brush them out. So I'm just gonna grab a pet brush that's been used for faux fur only and try and make him look a little fluffier. in the tip book if you need to make an AG pet look nice and fluffy again grab a pet brush and just give them a little brush coconut's ready to go all right so I have it's been like two hours since you saw that I had a little break and I have our lady I've just given her hair a brush out and like it's so crusty um, but I have my clothing steamer and this wig's already like wrecked so if I ruin it some more I ruin it some more but I'm gonna try like just steaming the heck out of it Sorry. don't know if you can see what I'm doing here Whee! just kind of popping some steam on it Pressing down with the steamer. And stop. And do a little brush. It's done something. I'm just gonna keep at it. Alright, I'm going to do the rest of this off camera because it's quite fiddly work. Excuse my work desk. I have our lovely lady. Now she has some more paint on her face. I'm gonna go back to the bathroom so you can see her curls, but I'm really happy with how her tattoos came out. I gave her like a nature, whimsical inspired sleeve. She's gonna be my alt girl. So let's head to the bathroom. Back at it again. Let's take some curls out. So 
So uh, <laughs> I think it worked a bit too well. She looks a little silly. I'm gonna finagle it a bit more and try and make it not look like a Who from Whoville. All right guys, um, here's the end of the video. I thought I would show you how everything turned out. I probably cut a lot from this video because my laptop will not handle all this. Here's my cat. Uh, on the subject of cats, Coconut is so fluffy now. You're so cute. Pet brush was really good, big brain decision on my end. Great job, Rosalie. Super cute, super fluffy. Uh, and more importantly, should we look at the doll? So I decided for my collection I'd really like a more alternative character. So really alt, really punk. Um, push some aesthetics a bit further. So this is her little face. I think she's either a Marnie or a Minor. M-Y-N-A, like Minor. This is like Ursa Minor constellation, but we'll see. Minor's also a type of bird. My laptop, uh, my camera's about to die, but her sleeve, my favorite bit is this little snail. And she's all done. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you made it to the end of the video, comment about any of the curse techniques I use in this video. I use pretty much a get it done, one night customization. Let's go. <laughs> Bye guys.